You think you know me. And this is where we con will start, where this mod starts properly, so. Yeah, Monica was right to Monica, Monica was right about what, Sayori, whatever. Do all this, but looks away, He's uh, she's scared. She's in love with, love with us, but she feels really bad about it because I'm going after Natsuki, she's selfish. And obviously, now that I've played uh, Rain Clouds, now that I've played the Rain Clouds, this makes, uh, this always made sense why this would be the bad choice, because this breaks her heart completely. This doesn't make sense unless you really think about it, and Rain Clouds really opened up the, uh, my eyes to see why this is a bad thing. Because we were, we were Sayori. Because we were Sayori, we got to know what she felt. So picking that one, even though it feels like the right thing to do, even some, even if you are going after someone else, if you, if you are going after Natsuki or Yuri, this may feel the right thing to do. Just because she's feeling bad. And you don't want her to just die. But after going through uh, rain clouds, you'll see that why this choice is a bad idea. So it's a lose-lose situation either way, really. Again, so skipping, but I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feeling as she is, even though I confirmed her. I get wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know that these thoughts will continue to plague me until things are, the back. things are back to the way they were. Is that what Sayori meant by not wanting anything to say? I don't know, but not that good. <coughs> Say Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to have a happy future with her. Time to act. And this... <coughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. I'm, I'm recording this like... Two hours after I did the last video I did. So I'm still sick. I think my cough medicine is starting to wear out a bit. So I might have to go and grab more. Also, my throat is a bit dying, so... I still have my uh, cup of water here, so... At least I can uh, re-moisture my throat a bit. Anyway, this is normally where the game ends. Uh, this day ends. And basically you can re trigger that by hitting this. Nothing happens. And it's the day of the festival. So you can still play the game normally if you don't want the mod. Basically how to get this mod to work is you, there's a file, you put it in the game and it just doesn't activate until you get 100% ending. So basically all this is the same. And we can continue, we can completely ignore this mod if we want, but why would you do that? You uninstall the mod for a reason, you probably want to play it. Thus, we get these picks, this is the first thing. And everything is going to change from now on, because we are going to scream. Also, this is now completely normal. And also, I'm not going to scream. Sayori, wait. Eh? Oh, um, I'm sorry. Why did I scream? I don't know, I really don't. It's as if something was controlling me. No, I'm sure something is controlling me. It's true, I try to move my right hand, but it feels completely numb. I, I, uh, well, whoever is controlling me doesn't seem to know how to do this either. Invite her. Do you want to come over to my house today? 
Yeah. This is basically what MC should have done to begin with. Don't leave her alone. That was the worst thing he could have done. And th we are pretty much just rectifying it at this point. Why? Well, spend some time. I just want to spend some time with my childhood friend today. Well, I... Come. I've, I firmly grasp her hand, and before she's able to react, we're already inside my house. I continue to track her along until we reach my room. Sarah's looking confused at me. I hope she doesn't think I'm being weird right now. I mean, we are a couple. It wouldn't be strange for me to make a move on her. Now that makes me wonder, what happens if I... Don't choose I, I love her. We can still go back there if we really want it. It wouldn't be strange for me to make a move on her. But I feel like this isn't the moment for that. I'm curious. We'll go back. I just want to see, that's all, what happens if I do this. We go back to our room. Sayori's cheeks are still wet from crying, and her eyes are red too. Still, I can't let her go like this. I feel like that would be the greatest mistake I've ever made. Alright, and I feel like that's where it goes back, so... So, what do you want to do? What what I want to do? Tell me something, Lopsa. What would you do if I disappeared? What do you mean by that? Don't tell me you're planning on. No, no. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Maybe I'm too tired. Sayori just asked something strange. But knowing what I know already, I think she wanted me to answer that. I'll probably go search for you. That's so you. But what if you couldn't find me? I don't care where you, you go, Sayori. What was that I just saw? A hallucination? What? Is something wrong? No, I think. Anyways, even if you go on a go to a place where I couldn't reach you, I would still go there for you. You're so silly. You can't reach a place like that. Don't worry. I'll just have to go there the same way you went. Oof. I thought you knew what I was talking about. What she was talking about? Oh yeah, that. At, at this point in time, who wouldn't know what she was trying to imply? Of course I do know, Sayori, and I still think I would go there for you. And when I find you up there, I will karate chop you in the forehead for doing some, going somewhere without me. But that's stupid. You're stupid. Would you give up on everything just for me? That's exactly what hurts me the most. I know, Sayori. But you know what? After everything I've gone through, that's why I decide the world just wants to torture me. When I couldn't do anything to help anyone. I've never felt this good my whole life. And everything I did was make things worse. Why would be the shit on me found out about this? How can I say everything is going to be alright? That's why I need you to be here with me for... Ever. It is not going to be alright. That's how this world was made. 
And that's what, that's what I won't accept. What are you talking about? I don't understand what's going on. We changed this world. We did it so we could save you. Even when we didn't have a way to be together, we created it. And that will make me break this game. Or even worse. This ending I made is far from perfect. It'll lead to one thing or another, and I'm not sure everyone is going to like it. But that's okay, because I can save you all. As I said, I don't understand, Sayori. I grab Sayori's hand while showing a smile. Leave it to us, okay? Just pick the correct choice, Lopsa. Die, please, help Sayori. I... I can't. The voice is in my head. She has to die. She's worthless. You have me. You have me. Me, me, me. Me, 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 me. We were really hard to deal with, weren't we? For the first time in a while, I feel like I'm back in control of myself. As if whatever was controlling me decided to stop dead in its tracks. I take a good look at Sayori. She's trembling, looking at every place in my room. I need to grab her attention. Sayori! Sayori looks at me. She wasn't waiting for anything. She found the answer she was waiting for there, in that scream. I don't know what just happened, but I do know that she needs to rest. So offering my bed, I invite her to sleep over. Would you like to sleep? Yeah. Still shocked, Sayori slowly gets comfortable on the bed. Kinda wanna pick the second answer before we move on, but... Whatever, we can save, we're fine. Load. I honestly don't want to continue anymore. My mind is going blank. No thoughts. No feelings. There we go. Couldn't protect her. That's when... I remember this mode being like played well back by someone. Basically saying I couldn't protect her. That's the way of saying that it is over. You've screwed up. But once again, I'm curi curious to see. I'm hoping this doesn't screw up. Why did you do that? Was it out of curiosity? Don't worry though. If it's just curious or bad luck, even if you are just mashing, I'll give you as many chances as I can. Okay then. Oh, it's really little bit of making me go back. Okay. Okay. But I will save before I make those choices. I will save the game before I make those choices. Because I don't want now I don't want to screw up. I don't want to screw up. It doesn't take her too long until I hear her breath go slower. Assuming she sleeps, I'll close my eyes and fall asleep fast. After what felt like an eternity, today marks the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori had left before I woke up. I considered going to her house just to check if she were back for something. But I turned down that idea and decided to eat the rest of the club with the preparations. You are a fucking idiot! Sayori probably went there before me. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. 
And in case you're wondering, yes, the happy thoughts file are is again here. Although that was created 11 minutes ago. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here. It's not only Yuri, neither Natsuki nor Sayori is here. I'm a little worried about Sayori, but she's probably at some food stand here in the festival. I will have to search for her later. I'm gonna just place a little booklet on this test, and we've gone through this before. I'm surprised you didn't press Sayori with you here. Yeah, disappeared without saying anything. That dummy. You think the only thing is for to try a little harder. I say that, but I suddenly remember what this was yesterday. Feeling not over. I only said it used, used to be, but maybe I should count for, to search for her after all. <laughs> you should take a little responsibility for her, Lopsa. I mean, especially after you exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. I don't know what you mean by that, nor how you know about that. But we spent the night together at my house, you know. Of course I do. I'm the club president after... You did what? I... I stammer embarrassingly. Why did I just say that? I mean, we're a couple now, but I'm sure I, I would want to wait a little more, a little more to bring that up. Jeez, you don't know the full story. Excuse me for interrupting, but did you just say you two slept together? Eh? Money was as friendly as usual a moment ago, but now I feel like I've opened a Pandora's box. I kind of want to move this down a bit, like ever so slightly down. Like one click. If you don't mind, I will leave early. Do not follow me, I'm fine. Sure. Monica storms out the classroom. I know revealing this early was a, is a mistake, but this big? Oh. As I see Monica leave, a piece of paper fell onto the floor. Upon picking it up, I, I felt a chill. It's Sayori's... The piece of paper has something labeled as Sayori's written poem. It might be Sayori's, but not a single character here is her writing. It feels like... Someone had to put this together for her. I guess at the entire paper once more. It's get out of my head, get out of my head, get out of my head before I know what is best for you, before I listen to everything she said to me. Before I show you how much I love you, before I fin write, finish writing this poem. But the poem is never actually finished, it just stops moving. I just can't believe it. This can't be her writing. What's going on? I wait no longer I, as I rush out the classroom. Into the corridors. Into the, into the residential area. What was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder for Sayori. It's not a big deal to at least wait for her or help her wake up. Oh, now it's going too slowly again. Like Getting the right balance is really annoying. Even the simple gesture of walking out to school makes her really happy. Besides, I told her yesterday that things will be the same as they have always been. That's all she needs and that's what I need to give that to her. I reach Sayori's house and promptly knock on the door. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her, her phone either. Like yesterday, I hope I don't let myself in. Sayori, she really is a heavy sleeper. Yeah, that, this could have been changed considering that Sayori is now missing, not sleeping anymore. I swallow worryingly. I can't believe I end, up, I end up doing this after all. Waking her up, up in her own house, that really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In a case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't want the room like this. Is it kind of a breach of privacy? But she relieves me no choice. I gently open the door. Sayori? She isn't here. Where has she gone? Completely ignoring the fact that I am trespassing, I quickly wreathe. Hello, Monica. You seem to 
be a bit weird. Why are you here? Also, where's Sayori? She's not hanging there anymore. What do you know? Did you come here to make sure that she followed the script? Because let's be honest, I've broken the script at this point. Deal with it. Monica's just about to enter the house as I almost hit her with the door. That startled me. You almost hit me with the door. Sorry, Monica, but I really don't have time to lose. Have you seen... Sayori? Actually, yes. She was looking for you, but I didn't know where you were. She is lying. I mean, you don't typically enter someone else's house to find another person, do you? To be honest with you, I still don't want to do this. Yet, I promised we will save them. For the sake of the happy ending we are searching for. <laughs> Monica starts to laugh sadly. As if someone realized that any work they have done is for nothing. And just gave up. She's just right there, by your house. I'm pretty sure she's waiting for you. Seriously, after all I've done. I can't be... I, I just can't be happy, can I? She mutters while walking away. I run towards my house. And reach it in no time. There, a lone figure is standing. She is looking distant, as if nothing or no one could bring her back now. But she is still here, right? She has not left my side. My beloved friend, Sayori. Sayori! Ah, wah, wah, wah. Sayori gets scared by my sudden embrace. No wonder I don't even let her get a chance to know who just screamed her name. But I, I won't release her nonetheless. Sayori. Realizing that I might be perhaps holding her too tight, I allow her to get her get some space. Phew. This is the second day in a row we've embraced each other here. But I will welcome each and every one of them. What is it? She's her again. I have the feeling that my childhood friend is back. The one I've grown up with. She's back. From where? That I don't know. I'm glad I found you. I really am. Stares start fo forming in my eyes. I can't understand why I'm feeling so agitated or even j just strange for that matter. But I can't stop myself from thanking someone about this. About not taking Sayori away. And where would I go? It's not like you've let me go, right? Because that's what boyfriends do, right? They force you to come to sleep over. They... They won't even let you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't cry. Not when you're in need. In need this time. Sayori wipes out her tears and looks at my eyes directly. Listen well. I wanted to disappear because I had m many things in my head. The voices. The noise in my head. They didn't stop, no matter what I did. Yesterday, when you came to my house, I barely could stand it. As if your voice was drowning in between all that noise. That's why when you shouted my name, everything suddenly grew quiet. No, that's not it. I just didn't care about the noise at all. Because I realized that, no matter how much noise there was, I keep ruining the moment by doing this. You'll sti still be part of it. <laughs> I know this is kind of corny and stuff. And honestly, I don't understand it myself, but... Well, the thing is, I decided not to give up. And that's when I woke up this morning. Oh, And then, and when I woke up this morning, I went for a walk. To feel what my new resolve was going to bring me. That's when I met with Monica. You know, Lopsa? I never thought Monica could cry. But she did, and she repeatedly said sorry to me. I didn't understand any, anything of what she was saying, 
And I don't even know if, if, if it was really a good time to talk about games. But she, after she was spoken to me, my mind felt at peace. Now the voices for all the, all the scribbles were there. Something is telling me that you have something to do with that. So I came to your house and wanted to thank you. And I will have to thank Monica too. I don't know if she did something too, but I'm guessing whatever her apology was, it helped. Sayori then stops talking for a while. She then holds me tighter than yesterday. But you, you can be sure that I won't leave this place. Nor will I leave your side. Hearing those words make me feel ve really happy. Remembering the poem she wrote, she really did her give her jar full of dreams out of everyone. So the least I can do is to give back what I used from that. I close my eyes and feel a soft touch on my lips. We did it. She does deserve this, after all, she's been true. She have always loved Lopsa, you know. I don't know why, but people are kind of bizarre when it comes to love. I'm happy she could at least release her feelings here. But this is not over yet. In fact, it's about to get harder to make a change. So please, dig deeper and break the weak points.